When you're learning a back twisting fold, the first thing to do is stretch. You're stretching your wrists first. What you're gonna do is stretch them under and over. And then you're gonna do crisscross and an L grip. The next thing that we are going to stretch is our shoulders. What you're going to do is put your arms back and straighten them and try to push your shoulders down as far as you can. Then you're going to stretch your right arm only and then switch to your left side. The next thing we are going to stretch is our back. To do this, we are going to go up into a bridge. While you are in a bridge, make your butt and legs go down like you are almost sitting in a chair. The next thing that we are going to stretch is our legs. To do this, you are going to put your leg back by your butt to stretch your quadriceps. Next, you are going to straighten out your bottom leg and bring up a different leg and pull it back to your head to stretch your hamstrings. Finally, the last stretch that we are going to do is stretch your ankles and toes. To stretch your ankles, you're going to roll them around. To stretch your toes, you're going to curl them under and try to stand on your toes as long as you can. We are now warming up a round off. To do this, you can run hurdle round off. If you over rotate like I did, just do a safety roll and you'll be good. Another way you can do it is step hurdle round off instead of a running round off. We are now warming up a round off with a back handspring. To do this, you will need to connect the round off with the back handspring. Make sure at the end of your back handspring you rebound high enough so that you are ready to do your layout. Now we are warming up a round of back handspring with the layout. To do this, you will need to combine the round of back handspring and set high up for your layout and make sure that you bring your arms to your hips. Next is falling drills. The first one is a layout. Start with your hands above your head, drop them to your side, and fall back. For the fool, start with your hands up and start twisting to your dominant shoulder while falling back. Now we are going to add the full falling drill into our tumbling, and that's what a fool is made out of. We do this into the pit first so that we are not scared that we are going to hurt ourselves when we do it on the actual floor. Next, we're going to do the full on the tumble track with a mat. This is almost like doing it on the floor, but with the mat for protection in case we don't land it correctly. Finally, we're going to do it on the floor. Just remember what you learned and go for it.